Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to clean your phone screen onto a Raspberry Pi and use a keyboard and mouse to control it. This might be useful if you don't have a Chromecast and want to connect your phone to your TV. You can even use it to record your phone and much more. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. To do this, we are going to be using a piece of software called SCRTPY. I am not sure how to pronounce it. It is pre-installed if you are using Twisto OS. But if like me, you are using Raspberry Pi OS or Twisto OS Lite, you will need to use PyApps, which is an app store for the Raspberry Pi. To install PyApps, you can go to the GitHub page here. I will link it in the description below. If you scroll down here, you will find the installation command. When you hover over it, you will find this clipboard button. Just click on it. The command will be copied to your clipboard. Then you need to open a terminal and open it from up here. And then you can just right click and click on paste. That will paste the command and it will start installing PyApps. As you can see, the installation has finished. So we can just close this terminal window and we can close the Chromium window. And you can see there's a PyApps desktop shortcut here. You can launch it by clicking on that. Or else you can launch it from the applications menu from under the accessory section. You can see PyApps here, just click on it and it will launch PyApps. Here you need to go into the tools category and here if you scroll down, you will find SERCPY here, click on it and click on install. This will start installing SERCPY. As you can see it has finished installing. So we are done installing it on our Raspberry Pi. Now we need to do a little configuring on our phone. So let's just do that. So in your phone, you need to enable USB debugging. And to enable USB debugging, you need to enable developer options. So to enable developer options, go to the about phone section and scroll down until you find the build number. And here, keep tapping it until you see this box here. You are now four steps away. Just keep tapping it. It will ask you for your pin. Type your pin. So I just type mine and then click enter. Because it says you have enabled developer settings. Now click on the search icon up here and then just search for developer settings. So I can just search for developer. So see, it gives me developer options. You can click on it. Here scroll down until you find Android debugging or USB debugging. And click on OK. There is an extra option here. It's called something like control over USB debugging or something like that. You need to even enable that so that you can control your phone using a mouse and keyboard. This is not for all phones, but for some phones, yeah, you have to enable it. So that's it. You have finished enabling USB debugging. Now just connect your phone to your Raspberry Pi using a, the charging cable or whichever cable you have. So I have connected my phone to my Raspberry using my cable. So after that, we need to launch SCRCPY. So you can just launch it from the application menu from under system tools and just click on it. As you can see, it's loading. So you can see it's not working for me, but if it's working for you, it's good. You can just skip this part, which I'm going to show now. So for me, it's not working. So a simple fix I found was to open a terminal and run these commands. You'll find them in the description below. First, do cd SERCPY and click enter. Here, run dot slash adb and run kill hyphen server. And then run sudo dot slash adb start server and click enter. This will start adb and you will get a allow USB debugging prompt on your phone. Here check allow always allow from this computer and click on allow. And then run sudo dot slash 
android.sh and you can see now it's showing my phone so i can use my mouse to control it you can see i'm able to scroll up and down so i'm just uh, using the key and dragging up and down i can use the scroll wheel to go up and down so you can see it's working with that then you can even use your keyboard so i can just type hello so i can just do that you see you can see that scrcpi is launching so to make sure you don't run these commands so many times you need to edit a file so run nano android.sh and here after this line click enter and add this command sudo dot slash adb dot server and before scrcpy add a sudo and then do control x y enter and now if i launch it from the applications menu you can see it's working now so let's make that one small modification to the file it's working I have opened the issue on the pyapps github page to fix this but we'll see if it's if it's fixed it'll work normally for you but if it's not you can just apply the small fix so there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts you can use in this program you can list them by running this in terminal just run this one command you'll find this in the description below crcpy and run hyphen hyphen help and click enter and this will list all the keyboard shortcuts you have so let me just make a full screen so you can see the lot of keyboard shortcuts you can do so if some of them are control f which is switch to full screen mode so i can just try that out if i do control f you can see it goes into full screen now this is pretty useful if you're watching a video or something like that and then you can even rotate the display so if i do control left yeah so it does not rotate your android display it rotates the window like you can see it moves to the left i can do right yeah so i can just move it right or left and then you can see the mode here control h goes to home and then control backspace is b control b is going back control s is app switcher and then control m is menu here you can do control up for controlling the audio i can do control up and down for changing the audio control p will open the it will turn off the screen so you can see it's like that i can just unlock it and then yeah you can use control alt to rotate the screen so instead of before how you rotate the, the window you want to rotate the screen now so if i do control r so you can see here if the screen rotated this time not just the window so i can just make the full screen so i can just do control f and you can see it's in uh, landscape and it's taking up the full space you don't see the black borders on left and right so you can see i'm going to use it like this now it's pretty cool right so i can just do control f again to exit it so you can see you can do control n to expand the notification panel so i can just do control n then i can do control shift n to close it again and then you scroll up here you will find the arguments you can use with the command so for example you can launch it in full screen by default so if you want to so if you want to do that you can if you want to do that you need to uh, modify the android sh file so just do nano android.sh and in this sudo dot 
slash strcp command add the hyphen f which is a full screen and do control x y enter which will save the file so if i launch strcpy again you can see it's showing you can see it's showing me the screen now in, it's launching in full screen now so I can just do control R again to rotate it. So yeah, and then you can do all four to exit. So you can for you can find more arguments you want to use here. I even told you you can record your screen. You can see the argument is right here. Hyphen R, and then you have to enter the file name file.mp4. So for example, if I wanted to do so here, I just do dot slash serpy hyphen R. And the file of the name so i'll just do tutorial dot mp4 you could add it in the android sh file but it will record it every time so i don't want that so i can just do this one and click enter so i can just scroll up and down like this i could just go into battery or something like that and I can close this and now I do a ls here you can see this is tutorial.mp4 file I can play that using vlc vlc tutorial.mp4 and you can see it's playing the video right now pretty cool right you can just record your screen and there are a lot and there are a lot more arguments you can use you can just explore them here and you can change the resolution also uh, reducing the resolution might increase the speed a little bit there are a lot more tweaks you can do just explore them here and have fun playing around with it thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos